Hello everybody and welcome back to the Crypto Potluck. I know it has been about a month since my last video, but I have been extremely busy. I launched um, my own brand of respirator masks um, and then I also started my job equipment website, which you could check out. Um, but I've been extremely focused on that. But this New Year's, my New Year's resolution was to uh, jump back onto the Crypto Potluck, uh, jump back into cryptocurrency in general. Um, I've continued to be in the market and anybody else that has been sitting out in crypto land it has been an amazing ride um, but there's still so much opportunity and today I really wanted to jump into it and show you a gym that I found and I'm really falling in love with and I think it has a lot of potential heading into 2018 Qcoin is a new altcoin exchange that couldn't have launched at a better timing. Qcoins list 71 different altcoins offering projects from Ethereum and NEO networks such as Substratum and Pearlcoin and everything in between with an active growing list of new coins being added. The real potential lies in knowing how the Qcoin exchange works. Basically, like Binance, the Qcoin exchange runs on its own token. This token offers discounts similar to the Binance's BNB token. Unlike Binance, Qcoin also acts as an asset, where holding on to it will pay out 50% of the exchange's profit in each altcoin to the Qcoin's holder percentage of the overall shares. For example, this is my account. I currently own 400 Qcoins, which I bought three days ago. Each day, I've been able to collect a bonus of the profit for each altcoin traded on this exchange that day. In order to get an idea of the daily payouts you could expect to receive today, you can go to Qcoin Bonus Calculator. Now, why is being able to collect 7 cents in Ethereum and all other altcoins exciting? Because this exchange is only the 27th largest exchange in the world as of today, and it has much room to grow. Uh, if this exchange continues to grow, which it will, and trades at the same volume as Binance, uh, which currently trades $7 billion worth of altcoins a day, a current Qcoin return of 7 cents in Ethereum for example would become 52 times larger which comes out to being worth three dollars 64 cents in ethereum daily payout now you can expect similar large percentage gains and payouts acquired by all the other 71 altcoins listed and future new coins added to the exchange let's for example say we buy 300 q coins for its current price of two thousand dollars the daily a uh, bonus acquired by all coins is 46 cents as of today. When the Qcoin exchange becomes number one by volume, this investment's daily payout will be 52 times larger, turning into a passive income of $23.92 a day. Now, this is only if the cryptocurrency market stays the same. If new investors and money continue to enter in the market, we can see the cryptocurrency and altcoin market rise. This $23.92 uh, of profit a day multiplies by the percentage growth in the cryptocurrency market overall. So for example, 2016 to 2017, the cryptocurrency slash altcoin market has risen 3,800%. So this $23.92 investment could reach highs of $908.96 daily payout overall worth of cryptocurrency. Basically, this exchange token works the same as compound interest would. So any lucky individual who are able to acquire and hold these coins can sit back and collect the benefits. Now, why is the Qcoin exchange going to grow? Donald Trump's tax plan, which was signed into law uh, the 1st of 2018, made every cryptocurrency trade taxable. So every time you transfer altcoin funds to a new address, this law says you need to pay a fee. Because of this, U.S. has been able to take blockchain startups like Coinbase to court, causing concerns in the cryptocurrency community. A active cryptocurrency trader in the U.S. is more likely to move over their money overseas to a Japanese or South Korean exchange in order to avoid the U.S. taxes 
uh, on every trade in the cryptocurrency stock market. Also, I'd like to point out Bittrex, a leading altcoin um, exchange announced uh, they won't allow new people to register on the exchange because of the exchange being overcrowded and seeing an unprecedented level of growth in investments. Lastly, we need to look over at an exchange I jumped into very early, um, which is Binance. Back when I was still making videos on this channel, I said many times how Binance Coin was undervalued. At the time, it was only worth a dollar twenty. In a couple of months, the BNB token shot up to highs of ten dollars, as Binance has become the number one cryptocurrency in exchange for investors. This all happened a few months, um, and. It is extremely overpopulated, causing a strain on Binance's exchange system. A ton of new traders and money have been entering the market. To show the extent of the strain Binance's system is under, I want to show you the request I submitted to inquire about $1,000 worth of Litecoin that is missing from my Binance account. It has been 23 days since I submitted this request about the missing money and still no response and a open case status with no other way to contact customer support. The interface sucks in my opinion and I personally find myself not being able to log on to Binance when I need to make a trade during peak hours. Qcoin is sitting at a perfect opportunity to explode in price in 2018. As investing into a exchange can make you money when there's a lot of trading in the bull or bearish market and every day in between. Now, with all this said, the Qcoin exchange just launched and it has a unique way of getting people to join. Basically, every cryptocurrency exchange charges a fee for every trade. The Qcoin exchange charges you 0.1% on any trade you make. As a reference, you can look up the top three exchanges to get an idea of the fees they charge. Now, this 0.01% worth of each trade is thrown in a pool and divided three ways. 50% goes to Qcoin holders, 40% goes to a Qcoin exchange referral bonus, and 10% goes to the Qcoin exchange as profit. How does this Qcoin referral work? Each account has a link. You can send this link to anyone new uh, to the exchange. When they click on the link and create an account, you get 40% of the profit the exchange would have made off that individual. From each trade that individual makes, keep in mind, if you register an account not from the referral link, Qcoin will still charge this 40%, but instead of paying it forward to the person that showed you the exchange, Qcoin will keep the 40% exchange fee. This exchange uses this referral bonus to incentivize huge YouTubers with 30 to 100k subscribers to cover this exchange because they get free money in the process, only taking money from the exchange itself. This will push more popular YouTubers to cover it, driving new people to join and a overall growth of the exchange until it becomes a leader in the blockchain exchange market. All right, now this last part, I'm going to show you how to move your cryptocurrency into the crypto stock market, or better yet, uh, the Q coin exchange. Okay, so uh, in order to do this, I'm only going to show uh, one way of doing it. There's other ways of going about it, but um, for this, you're going to have to have a Coinbase account. Um, I will put my referral link for that below um, and then upon a, like creating an account and your purchase purchase um, you will receive a free ten dollars and I will receive a free ten dollars so it's a win-win for everybody um, but once you create an account um, then you also want to create an account on Qcoin right now I will put the link in the description below uh, you can automatically click that but if you go to the website uh, whenever you're registering for the in, uh, invitation code, uh, this is the code you want to put in. Okay, I'll put it up on the screen right now. All right, so that would help out the channel. It helps out me. Um, but 
Uh, it's not required, uh, but if you are, you know, encouraging, um, you know, a family member or an employee that you work with, I highly recommend um, sharing your invitation code because it doesn't hurt anybody and it only helps, uh, you know, you and um, basically whoever's showing you the exchange. Okay, so now uh, let's let's show you how this all works. <clears throat> So we moved on over to Coinbase, okay? So what I want, once you create an account and you go through the whole process, uh, it, it might take some time because Coinbase does require a lot of information, um, like your ID and all that. Um, but what you want to do is I honestly recommend uh, going for one of these three coins. Bitcoin takes a long time to transfer funds and it can be expensive. Um, that's why I recommend either Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum or Litecoin as your first purchase if you're trying to move it over to the exchange. Okay, so click on um, right now. All I have is uh, Bitcoin Cash a little bit like barely any, but I can show you how to do it through this as well. So. Um, I will be using Bitcoin Cash, but you can use Ethereum or Litecoin. It all works the same, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go through the process. Once you have your bank account um, tied into your Coinbase, um, you can basically say, I want to buy $100 um, worth of whatever coin, and then it will give you how much of that coin you will be getting, okay? So then you can either repeat the buy or just do that. Um, keep in mind, Coinbase will charge a fee. Their fee is larger than any of the exchange fees. Um, but you can buy it and then it gets put into your account. <clears throat> now, once you have bought uh, whatever coin you're going to be transferring over to the exchange, you want to go to accounts. Okay, so jump into accounts. As you can see, I have a little bit of Bitcoin cash. Um, what I will be doing is I will click send. Okay, so now you want to jump back on to your Q coin exchange after you have created an account. Okay, um, and then you want to find uh, you want to go over to assets, okay? So make sure you're on assets, and then you want to find whichever coin you're trying to transfer. So for me, I'm trying to go with uh, Bitcoin uh, Cash. So Bitcoin Cash is right here for me. So I want to click deposit, okay? Now, whenever you click deposit, you're going to get this long string of an address, okay? You want to copy the whole address, jump back over to your Coinbase account, and then this is where you're going to be pasting that address, okay? And then for the amount, it's how much uh, you're looking to transfer, okay? So how much of whatever coin you bought. So for me, um, I only have a whopping 24 cents on this account because all my money is in the exchanges because that's where I make all my money. Um, I don't want to keep it on Coinbase because I can make a lot more money if I move it over to um, the cryptocurrency stock market, which has been doing extremely well these past few days. Now, after this, um, you can click continue and it will send it. Uh, it will probably ask you for your phone number um, and then for you to put in a code, which it just did for me. You can type in that code, which I will do right here for my whopping 24 cents. Um, and then we'll do continue and then we'll do continue. And then it's sent. It was that easy. That's all you had to do. Um, and then honestly, just wait. Uh, it sometimes it takes five minutes sometimes it might take as much as 30 minutes um, but you should be getting it fairly soon um, and then once you have it onto your Qcoin exchange um, you want to jump up to markets on the Qcoin exchange and then you want to find whatever coin you want so for example whatever coin you transferred um, for example I transferred um, Bitcoin cash so uh, Bitcoin cash I think it's BTC or BCC um, B, yeah, BCH. So jump on to the coin that you transferred. Um, then, all right, now I'm going to be moving this over so that you can see the buy and sell action, all right? Now, um, on the screen, and I know it's a little intimidating if you have never used um, it's a stock exchange app or a cryptocurrency um, you know, exchange uh, website, but it's very similar. So what you want to look at here is, is uh, this is the chart. Uh, you can go up here and then you can change it to whatever you want. So basically uh, each uh, bar is an hour in the market. So you can see how the market's doing overall. Um, but then you can go up here um, and then these are the sell orders and then these are the buy orders. Um, so you can go to one of the um, buy orders and for example, I could sell my Bitcoin Cash. I could sell 100% of it at 23 cents. 
um, right here, and then sold. Uh, look, I don't have enough on the exchange because 23 cents isn't anything. Um, but uh, you'd be able to sell it as easy as that, and then you're game on. You know, then you could jump back in uh, because you sold it for Bitcoin. Um, you can buy any of these other coins. So uh, you got a lot of really good players in there. I think um, uh, 10x is a good long-term play. Uh, Civic is another good play. Uh, Quantum. Um, OMG. Uh, let's just. You got Dash. You got Litecoin. Uh, you got Substratum, which I really think is an underdog. Uh, let's see. You got Power Ledger. Um, you got Ven. Uh, Walton Coin. Um, Ethereum. Ethereum Classic. LA Coin. Uh, Dragon Coin, which has been pretty popular recently. Uh, Pearl Coin, which has also been pretty popular pretty recently. Um, and then the one that we covered throughout this whole video, which is KCS, which I find extremely undervalued and a good long play in the market, um, especially with everything going on. Um, I think that this exchange has a lot of room to grow. Um, the way that they're incentivizing people to spread the word um, to family members, to friends, to anybody else that you know that might use this exchange, um, you're more inquired to because <clears throat> you get something for it. You know what I mean? Um, you're not charging uh, your friend money, uh, but uh, basically, no matter what, they were going to be spending that money on the exchange, um, and then you're just getting a small percentage of it. You know what I mean? So uh, this exchange is a really good exchange that gives back to its community. I find it's very sleek. It runs perfectly, in my opinion. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. I've been locked out of my Bittrex account. I've been locked out of my Binance account. Um, I've been, had trouble logging on to both of them before. I have not had that problem here. Uh, just mainly because it doesn't have the amount of volume as these other exchanges do. And I think in 2018, you're going to see a shift. You're going to see a lot of new players um, looking for new exchanges. And if, if Binance is indie, any indicator of what we can expect, um, which exploded in a matter of four months, I think that this one is just going to skyrocket. And I think it is going to be the leading player as far as exchanges are um, in 2018. Now, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Uh, this channel, I wanted it to grow even farther, um, but like I said, there have been a lot of things in the works um, as I've been launching other businesses. Um, but one of my main business ventures, which I've been building up for some time, uh, which I've been hinting at in uh, my past videos, and which is why I stepped away from the YouTube channel in general, is I'm looking to launch an ICO. Um, it's going to be very exciting. We're going to see what happens, um, but there will be more information that will be given off uh, later on. Uh, my thing has always been is uh, whenever I post a video, I want it to be quality. Uh, I want it to be the best I can do. Um, now, there's a lot of YouTubers that will post every day, and don't get me wrong, um, it's good to have everyday content, um, but I would rather have quality content over quantity any day uh, because quality makes me money. Quantity is what the masses are doing, and I'd rather follow the quality. Now, with all that said, uh, leave a like, subscribe, um, and then I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.